What's up everybody? This is MovieGamerHill here and welcome to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Lights Camera Pants Yep, welcome to another party game let's play Don't worry this time it's not the waving rabbits This time it's a good old pal SpongeBob So let's jump straight into it ladies and gentlemen And this is well, this was also one of the old LPs I used to do before I deleted it all because it was poorly made. So, yeah, this is another replay. I am redoing this game in much better quality and much better production quality. So, here we are. We got story mode, which is the main part of the game we're doing, tournament mode, which you play for a set of five minigames, see which is the best. Single audition, basic free play mode. Here are the options, here's your typical music and sound. Yep, all your usual stuff in the pilot game. Controls, by that I mean just change from bridge on off. And languages. Svenska! What else would it be? I'm not choosing that, because it'll sweet start the whole game again and we have not had that. And god damn my chair is really creaky and so sorry my really creaky chair. We got wars, we can look artwork, we can look action figures, and Mermaid Man movie. Since when Mermaid Man got his own movie? Well, right now, in fact, yes. <laughs> and of course, we can put in cheat girls in here as well. It's nice, but. Yes, this video game's story is going to be focusing on the superheroes of the sea Mermaid Man and Bunker Boy. That's not annoying. So yes, the story's gonna focus on one man bunk boy, although we're not gonna play as them. That's yeah, just for the story. We'll start a new game. Yeah, we'll choose a save file. Actually I did way beat this game. So Yeah, we're about to end up one story challenge, so yeah. The story mode comes with three duties. You start a bronze mode, I should be bronze mode, you can go to silver. And I should be in silver, you can go to gold, and I should be gold, that's it. So yeah. Okay, so let's, let's do choose our own character. Mm, let's go with Squidward. Because we're all Squidward's here. Now we got a choice of easy, medium, or hard duty. Basically being how hard your inputs will be during the mini games. And we choose our opponent. We can make them easy, medium, or hard. I'm going to put on all three duties. One on hard, one on normal, and one on easy. Just see how different they are. And I regret doing this honestly, but who cares? Should make for some fun commentary. I hope. We put Patrick or City because, duh. So here we go. Now let the story take its pace. Gil Hammerstein speaking. Ah, sure. It's so nice to. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. The plans are all in place. I I'm down at the Mermelayer set now, and I am confident we have found the. Yes, sir. I'm aware how important the anniversary special of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy is, and I'm completely convinced. Yes, sir. Sure, sure, sure. We'll put all the contestants through their paces. See how they do in the three scenes, and the one that performs the best will get the part. <laughs> yes, sir. And the most popular contender overall will get the coveted super villain role. <laughs> Good one, pal. <laughs> I, I am. So, so, so sorry, sir. So sorry I, I called you that. I, I just got a bit carried away with the moment. <laughs> it, it won't happen again. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Just leave it to me. I'll take care of everything. Miss Pennington, get me the first contest host on the line. No! <laughs> Bubble bath! I couldn't have picked a greater culinary connoisseur to judge the best waiter. No, you could not. My superior gastronomic and gourmet skills will sort the majestic from the meek. <laughs> uh-huh, right. So, how is that high-fat, high-carb thing working out for you anyway? F 
fine. Thank you very much. Anywho, just make sure you sort the good from the bad. Of course I will. That's why you chose me. Right. I'll be waiting. <laughs> okay, so... The director of the movie named Bogunui, Gil... Hammerstein, I think his name was. He still has some roles to fill. So yeah, of course, he has a super thrilling role. And he has all the... Main characters of the Keeper and Conquest to fill those roles. And how would they do that? But they ain't complete a bunch of mini games to use the best. Probably explain that very poorly, but I hope you get the gist of it. So, I wake see I did you top why are your are the requirements you need to do to unlock certain action figures and certain artwork. Guys, yeah, you need to do certain act requirements do you want to get action figures and artwork like get a training pay combo in order to lock this artwork they all specify to a specific duty so she didn't get everything all the other action figures and bronze to remember to win street silver but too bad you have to read do your save file all over again which really sucks I wish they tell you how much armor, how much extra you got so you can move on or at least some indicator but however that's what it is so here's our first mini game flipping out it gets faster gets faster the more you play I got perfect that's not the best but somehow the stupid one got perfect as well I don't know how so, so basically you you throw your play pies out to your opponent, you try to collect all the pies the opponent throws at you, and you try to avoid and throw away all the jump pies, which are the green spider like burgers. So I don't know why planes is working across the ground. Really absurd, but whatever. So yeah, this is a really fun mini game. It gets quite competitive, requires lots of skill. I love it. So yeah, well, this is my fourth bundle game. Let's play, playing now. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad I decided we do this mini game as well. There's a lot of proofs that we've done with this LP, sure, but one minute to go. No perfect round. Ah, no, I'm not gonna get a perfect game though. I do make some mistakes because I am quite rusty when I play this game myself. Do we practice some more? But ah oh well. And see ya. We are least ahead of Spongebob from Patrick down there. Let's see what they're doing now. Patrick's just letting all his pallets burn. My plan's working. Idiot. And Spongebob, he doesn't know how to flip any patties. Yeah, so you need to jump pad there for too long. It will just fly up anyway. Going on? Of course, you need to cry for for too long. It will cool down and it will turn to ashes for some reason. It's all going wrong. Ugh. Where is Greg Press coming out anyway? Hmm. Whatever. First me game is done now. We like to do an action figure. Which is, which is fantastic. So yeah, that's a score. Yeah, should go. This one goes to its overall score. The maximum amount you can get is five thousand points per mini game. And so happens to be, I got the maximum amount of points, so I'm doing well for myself. So second mini game got is order up. Work together, making and delivering food to hungry customers. Waiters take our customers over it and remember it. So yeah, it's a waiter and cooker mini game. Yeah. This one, I. This one is actually it's kind of okay. You start off as the cooker slash waiter, and then eventually halfway you switch places. So I'm the cooker now, and I gotta get the white amount of items. Like here, I need two burgers and a drink. 
Need to get a wide amount of food. Order up. Now I think that's all I'm doing here is bottom mashing. Order that's all I'm doing. I just mash the A button. To just to prepare the food. Oh, I suppose. Flat ready. Yeah. You're the boss. I, mean, I still like this mini game, but um. Okay, if that's what you want. If you say so. And of course, you had to squat your meal. You got to do all over again, which puts you behind. You're the boss. I, I mean, customer. I now, apparently, this. Whoever we'll wins this mini game, I think it depends on. Yes. Who must be. Managed to get the first uh, order done faster. So. And of course, it depends on who screws up the least. Yes, your highness. Like, I just screwed up right there, so now that means SpongeBob is gonna get ahead. Right, go. God damn it. But this squad, I would have won this mini game, but unfortunately, thanks to that, I think I lost it now. I mean, it's not still pretty even, but I did lose this just because of that. Yes. I will get this. Order up. Okay, if that's what you want. Hmm. Yes, I will get this. So yeah. Also that customer's asleep. Now we swap places. So now I should be the waiter. Now it's time to discuss the waiter part of this minigame. Before you deliver the meals to the white colored table. Order up. And you memorize the customer's Order orders up. by what button you have to press. It goes up to three buttons. Well, Place to a number and yeah, way the part is quite monotonous. And this whole mini game is quite monotonous and boring. Just bomb mash, mash to win or bomb mash to end, and simple understanding of which where which way where it goes. Here's I made it. Now eat. Like uh, this is quite a boring mini game. I, I mean, I like the concept of it, but it's just as boring as actually working at a fast food restaurant. Whatever you say. Even Squidward sounds bored. Here's food. Order up. It's your funeral. Like Currently, we're ahead, though. But I think I'm still lost. It's your funeral. It's your funeral. <laughs> Order up. Right away. You're gonna die and be a beast. You're gonna die and be a beast. No, Don't you know that? Right away. Okay. Order down. Whatever you say. I order you. Please kill me. me. No. Like okay, never mind. We did win this mini game. I thought we didn't, but I guess that was one. All according to plan. Let's figure something else. Once again, got the maximum amount of points for the mini game. Excellent. Now I should move on to the last set of three mini games at across the crab. So, cause yeah, you go from location to location, getting a diff, trying to get a different role for the movie, and you gotta do a set of three mini games, and where it does the best, will win the role. And that means you do have to be first place overall. The computer AI can. Can win and the game will still continue on. You won't be punished if you lose. You just gotta get the Y amount po points to pass, or the opponent has to get Y amount points to, uh, to pass or get the wall. Which that amount does increases for each. Gotcha. Each difficulty. Well, speak of which, the uh, difficulty's up there again. I'm not wondering why did it show up for auto up. Well. That's because, as far as I'm cool, there's no, no unlockables you can get from all the up, so... Eh? Whatever. Here it bounces. You just simply bounce. Bounce a bunch of parcels from the doors all the way up to the, t the top of the... Whatever it's called. Basically, you just bounce parcels for one. And to another. That was good. That was Once again, this is quite long and tedious and boring. Well, Although it definitely does require good that eye coordination, close. that's for sure. Bowing hits. Pretty boring, pretty tedious. <coughs> Sorry. You gotta do this for four minutes. Faster. Maybe four and a half. 
So yeah. We want to stage two. It gets a bit more complicated. You serve me well. Yeah. Let's see how Spider on Plankton are doing. They're doing pretty well. And SpongeBob screwed up. Okay. Oh, Plankton's doing. Hmm. Well, like I gotta say, the graphics for this game do look pretty good. I dare say, even better than the Heavy Iron Studio games. The models are a lot sharper this time around. Uh, yeah, that's what I can say, the models look quite sharper. I don't think the, the airs themselves look as good. They do look a bit blander. The, the textures could definitely still have some work, but. Yeah. Okay, on to stage 3. It's getting fast, tad faster, but it's still really slow and monotonous. <laughs> Blind is screwed up! The AI does not have good hand-eye coordination whatsoever because it's a robot. It doesn't have eyes. I help you. Go we are clearly on winning. I'm not making a single mistake here. I can't be master this mini game, really. Yeah. Go kind of boy. When we need it, we need the fall stage to go to boy. The boss being sure is failing. Okay, final stage, finally. Just got about one edge of one to the other. In just in the minute that we're giving. Can't get any simpler than this. And Spudder still finds a way to screw it up. And so does Plankton. But one, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Where did seven, eight, and nine go? I don't care. SpongeBob and Patrick, uh, SpongeBob and Plankton suck. I mean, I'm the one with the, with the easy CPU, yet the normal and hard ones are failing quite hard. You see, yeah, the AI in this game can be pretty weird. I'll say that much. Well, fine, it's me. The game's over now. Ugh. Got the max amount of score here. Got some more artwork, and yeah, 12,000 points is the amount required to pass. And I got max amount of points for this set of winning games. And like I said, I think the requirement will increase your playing on silver or gold, so keep that in mind. So yeah, there we go. Wait, you know, I were told on that. And Anyway, if the, war, if the walls have character names and the action figures that they don't, then it's artwork. But because it's coming up, so I'll be quiet. Bubble Bash, how did the waiter trials go? As I suspected, they were all terrible. It was a complete and utter waste of my valuable time. Just tell me who the winner is. Squidward Tentacles will be the best waiter of the bunch. Squidward? Okay, he's our waiter in the next roll then. Send a car for Squidward. Yeah, now this well, this is where it'll play a snippet for newbie, but I'm gonna save the entire newbie for way, way yeah. I still don't know what to do with it, but don't put it in the comments below. I'll figure some way to do it. But yeah.
Next time, let's play Lights, Camera, Pants. We shall be moving on to Goo Lagoon. Yes, we shall be heading over to the beach. So, this is Morgan and Who here, and I'll see you next time. Lay, people.